All right, let's switch gears to weather. More serious stuff, though. Here we got high heat, mm -hmm. we got smog, bad air, and fire danger because of right. these elevated temperatures. Fortunately, we don't have offshore winds to go along with the hot temperatures because that would just really send the fire danger through the roof. It's still something we're going to have to watch yeah. for the next couple of days. But it's definitely hotter out there today than it was yesterday. You can feel the difference. Yeah, even in San Francisco, we got up into the 80s. We'll have the high temperatures coming up a little bit later on during our 6 o'clock hour. We'll get the official numbers from the National Weather Service. Let's take a look at the big picture and the heat dome is taking back over. It's actually kind of a double barreled feature here to different areas of high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere merging together. Just a hill of air overhead, a mountain of air compressing the air at ground level, and that's what heats it up. And our temperatures have taken that big step upward over the past 24 hours. Let's take a look at where we stand right now as we look outside from Salesforce Tower and looking towards Levi Stadium from our San Jose camera. Current temperatures are running in the 70s in San Francisco, still 80s in Oakland. Most inland spots are in the 90s, 99 degrees in Livermore and in Concord. I showed you at the top of the the hour 101 degrees right now in Fairfield for Solano County. That's definitely hot and we might even be a couple degrees hotter than this for tomorrow. It's still going to be warm out there. We've got a couple of baseball games going on across the Bay Area this evening. The A's take on the Mariners. First pitch is at 640. Game time temperature is going to be down to around 70 degrees and then coasting into the 60s as we head through the rest of the evening. Temperatures for the first pitch of the Giants game against the Diamondbacks five minutes later at 645 as they try to keep their playoff hopes alive. Vernal have an update on that specific number a little later on as well. Mid 70s still at six o'clock and then coasting down to the mid 60s by the time the game is wrapping up. Temperatures tomorrow are going to be hot, but once again, like today, I don't think we're going to set any records. The closest will be like today, San Jose record high temperatures 99 degrees. We're forecasting a high of 96. Even the places that get up to over 100 like around Livermore. Well, the record tomorrow is 113 degrees, so I'm actually quite happy that we're going to be staying so far away from record territory tomorrow. Let's Let's take a look at our temperatures. We'll start with low temperatures because that's part of the story. Not getting much relief during the overnight hours. A lot of 60s on the map by early tomorrow morning, which could be worse, but really would like temperatures to drop into the 50s. Get some free air conditioning staying in the mid 60s in San Jose and Los Gatos. Even some of the warmer spots around Antioch and Brentwood just barely dipping below 70 degrees during the coolest part of tomorrow morning. Temperatures will drop into the 50s along the coast in San Francisco and in the North Bay Valleys all the way down to 50 degrees in Petaluma. So losing a lot of that heat that you have built up during the day, but then we will just build it right back up during the day tomorrow. Here are tomorrow's forecast highs getting up to 99 degrees in Santa Rosa. Temperatures into the low to mid 90s for the rest of the North Bay. Of course, you go farther north towards Healdsburg and Windsor. Temperatures more likely to get up to over 100. 104 for Fairfield, 102 in Antioch. It's going to be one of the hotter locations along with 102 in Concord and in Livermore. Into the 90s once again for Fremont and in Redwood City. And temperatures in the Santa Clara Valley reaching back up into the mid to upper 90s. And as you go farther inland, all also more likely to get up to over 100 degrees around Morgan Hill. So that's why we have a heat advisory. It's in effect for most of the Bay Area tomorrow. Even San Francisco is included in that heat advisory, not because 80 degrees is particularly hot compared to 102, 104 elsewhere, but because so many folks lack air conditioning within San Francisco. So that heat advisory farther inland continues all the way into Thursday because actually the peak of the heat isn't going to occur tomorrow. It will be another degree or two warmer for inland parts of the Bay Area on Thursday, and that's when our heat risk is going to climb another category. On Thursday, it goes from low along the coast, moderate and orange for most of the Bay Area, but then into the high or very high categories east of the Oakland Hills and into parts of the Santa Clara Valley on Thursday. And that's why we're concerned about the duration of this heat wave. It should start to back down as we hit the end of the work week on Friday with temperatures getting back down closer to, well, within shouting distance of what's normal for this time of year. And then as we head into the weekend, temperatures get back to almost exactly average, especially by Sunday. And we should see that relief from the heat continuing into early next week, Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures around the Bay, a couple more days in the 80s, then back to the 70s on Friday and back to normal territory in the 70s, Saturday and Sunday. Same thing for Monday and Tuesday. And we'll get back into our back and forth fog pattern. But even along the coast, I think the fog is going to give way to a little bit of sunshine each afternoon. Temperatures all on the coast back into the middle portion of the 60s after a couple more days in the 70s. But we don't lose that onshore influence entirely. Yeah, you know it's warm when it's 80 in the city. Right, I think That's 83 unusual. or 84 today. We'll get the specific number in a few minutes. All right, we over soon, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Paul.